Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Book Review. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday and usually, typically, almost always on a Friday, sometimes when I remember, I try to review a book. And well, I said at the beginning, this was a magic book review. It's not actually, it's not technically a magic book review. It's a memory book. It's a memory book. And let's admit it, we need to use our memory in magic tricks all the time, right? We have to memorize slides. We have to memorize uh, moves. We have to memorize routines, memorize patter, memorize blocking. There's tons of things that we have to memorize. And I would argue that some of the things we should memorize are the names of creators who create and invent some of the magic tricks that we love. And on that note, I don't know if you've ever visited uh, some of the magic forums like the Magic Cafe or uh, some of the other places where magicians get together to discourse, but uh, probably if you start a subject about a book or a technique or a classic trick, inevitably a long time member and well-respected magician, Harry Lorraine will step in and set everybody straight. And uh, having Harry Lorraine as a part of our magic community has been such a blessing. And we are blessed as magicians to have some of those great men and women of history still around that we can go to and talk to and ask questions of. And so I thought, you know what? I have never done a review for Harry Lorraine before and I kind of owe it to the guy, right? We all owe it to him as a community to give him a magic review. And so in my collection, what I own of Harry Lorraine is I own the memory book. And so I thought, you know what? It's Friday, we're gonna do a magic review. We're gonna do a book review. Let's talk about Harry Lorraine. All right, so if you don't know who Harry Lorraine is, he is the world's foremost memory teaching expert. He's also the author of about 10 best-selling books Harry's also a magician, and he used to be a regular guest on the Johnny Carson Tonight Show, and I would try to find the episode where he memorized the entire audience's names and address, and then he could recite them back to Johnny uh, when Johnny asked. Harry has also published other memory books, uh, Harry Lorraine's Page a Minute Memory Book, Super Memory, Super Student, How to Raise Your Grades in 30 Days, Ageless Memory, Miracle Math, How to Develop a Calculator in Your Head, and How to Develop a Super Power Memory, only to name a few, a few. Harry has written tons of books. He is the creator of tons of magic tricks, and he definitely deserves a shout out from me. This book, The Memory Book, was first published back in 1974. And I was thinking, you know, there's something to be said, something amazing and miraculous to be said about a book, any book that is still in publication 40 years later and people still refer back to it as being the book to read on any subject. And certainly the memory book is no exception. All right, so what are you gonna learn in this book? This book is gonna teach you creative ways to improve your memory. And it is a wonderful way to learn how to improve the information that you take in every day. Every day, you're gonna learn things like people's names, their job, what they do for a living, or maybe a direction to a place you've never been before. In fact, if you read this book and you start reading this book, and I actually started reading this book on an airplane, uh, after only reading two chapters, you'll be able to recite all 50 states in the US, both forward and backward, and it will probably take you only 15 to 20 minutes to memorize. It's actually amazing how simple and quick this book will teach you to perform feats of memory that will appear to other people like magic. All right, so you're asking, okay, what if I have a bad memory? What if I have a bad memory? You know what? People always say that. I hear people say that all the time. I have a bad memory. But what you've just admitted is you actually have a memory. Everyone has a memory. And what Harry Lorraine is gonna argue and make a case for is that you have a memory you just don't have a trained memory. And when you think about it, all learning is based on memory. When you stare at a word, you don't sound it out anymore. You don't sound out every syllable, right? You just stare at the word and you just say it because at this point you have memorized that word, right? So all learning is based on memory. So if you feel like you're not even a good learner or a good subject taker or a good homework doer, right? Anytime you can improve your memory, 
that's a good thing. So I would say if you wanna improve your memory, this book is the best investment you could ever make. This is good for students who wanna raise their grades. This is good for teachers who wanna teach their students how to be better learners. All right, so the table of contents, what are some examples of things that you will learn in this book? Uh, one of the things you'll learn is how to make a picture in your mind that is so ridiculous that it will enable you to really see it in your mind. I think when we learn, we try to take in data in a very logical way, but logical things are very hard and very vague and we end up forgetting them. You're gonna learn how to memorize a list of 10 things instantly. You'll learn how to memorize names and faces. You'll be able to memorize eventually a room, a room of people. Just think if you could memorize your entire audience, memorize all their names and faces, and it's extremely easy to do. You'll practice on learning to memorize the presidents, the US presidents in order. He'll teach you how to memorize a 50 digit number. You could then memorize license plates, credit cards, serial numbers on bills, important dates, anything you can think of to memorize. This book will improve your memory. All right, so what about the writing style? How is the book written? The book is written very light, very casual, very friendly. It doesn't feel like a doctoral thesis. It doesn't feel like a, a school textbook. Uh, so it feels very friendly, very conversational. The only thing I would say about some of the language is it also feels very dated, right? It feels dated because it was written back in the 70s. All right, so that's everything I can say about the memory book. And I would say if you are interested in a memory upgrade, then this is the groundwork and quite possibly the only memory book you will ever need. And because we're talking about Harry Lorraine and we're wanting to give him some credit and some shout out and some props, I would highly recommend you subscribe and like his YouTube videos. Uh, go and watch some of those, get a taste, get a flavor of Harry Lorraine's style and visit his web store. Drop by there and pick up a few things, give him some support and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.